Now we will see another concept in our multiplication techniques that is multiplication is number by series of nines. Okay, here we are going to use one sutra that is Nikilam Navataha Charamam Dashataha. We are going to use the sutra as Nikilam Navataha Charamam Dashataha, which is nothing but as we already discussed, all from 9 and last from 10. All from 9, last from 10. So, how can we use this technique? All from 9, last from 10. Or Nikilam Nataha Charamam Dastaha in case of multiplication by series of 9s. Let us see the first case. Here in this multiplication technique, we have three cases. We have three cases. Let us discuss the first case. So, case 1. The case one is number of digits number of digits in the given number number of digits in the given number okay equal to number of nines number of digits in the given number equal to number of nines that means whenever we are multiplying a number okay which is nothing but a given number the number of digits in the given number is equal to the number of nines on the another side which we are going to multiply okay that is nothing but the case one for example 436 into triple nine 436 into triple nine now you tell me how many digits are there in the given number 436 there are three digits yes or no now how many nines are there on the right side three nines now you tell me is the number of digits in the given number is equal to number of nines or not yes okay number of digits are three and the number of nines are three both are same so both sides there are equal digits equal digits and here also equal digits so if it is the case if it is the case okay simply do one thing subtract one from the given number first subtract one from the given number what is the given number 436 subtract one from that one how much will you get 435 how much we got 435 after 435 put a small quotation like that put a small quotation after 435 now you tell me okay for 4 to make it 9 how much I need to add for 4 to make it 9 how much I need to add yes 5 write 5 here now for 3 how much I need to add to make it 9 6 and finally for 5 exactly it is 4 so my answer is 435564 once again i repeat whenever you are multiplying a given number okay into series of nines check here the case one there are three digits three nines whenever the number of digits are equal to number of nines okay or i can say like this if the number of digits on the both sides are equal if the number of digits on the both sides okay on one side the given number on another side only the nines so if the number of days on both sides are equal simply subtract one from the given number that is 436 if you subtract one from that one how much you got 435 so for that 435 okay you need to write sequentially nines complements so what are nines complements for example for one to make it nine how much i need to add eight similarly vice versa for eight to make it nine one for two seven for seven two three six six three four five five four okay and it, if it is zero nine and for nine it is zero so these are what nines complements nines complements okay so for these numbers you have to write sequentially nines complements for four it is five four five okay for three it is six for five it is four so what is my final answer? 4, 3, 5, 5, 6, 4. Okay. One more example. Let us see. Uh, if it is 6, 3, 4, 0 into some 4 nines. How many days are there? 4. How many nines are there? 4. So the number of days are equal to number of nines on the right hand side. If the number of days are equal to number of nines, the same way we have to follow. Simply subtract 1 from the given number. How much will you get? 6, 3, 4, 0 minus 1. So answer is 6339. Now put a small quotation. Now write nines complements only for this number but sequentially. Sequentially means 1 by 1. For 6 what is a nines complement? 3. For 3? 6. 
for 3 6 and for 9 it is 0 so your answer is 63393660 okay so like that we have to write the sequentially nice complements to get the answer like that we can write even bigger number okay let us take one number like this so 7238567 Three eight, okay six, the ten digit number into, okay. So, how many digits are there? Ten digits are there. How many nines are there? Ten nines are there. Ten digits, ten nines. But we are going to write the answer for this number within seconds. Okay, this much big number. Okay, even though this much big number, we can write the answer within seconds. So, what is the answer? Now you tell me fastly. So, 7, 2, 3. First, what we need to do? Subtract 1 from the given number. Okay. 7, 2, 3, 8, 5, 6, 7, 3, 8, 5. This is the given number. Okay. Now, sequentially write the nice complements. Fastly. For 7, 2, 2, 7, 3, 6, 8, 1, 4, 8, 4, 6, 3, 7, 2, 3, 6, 8, 1, 5, 4. Finally, this will be my answer. So, this much big answer we are going to write within seconds. Yes or no? So that's how the advantage of Nikhilam Nataha Charvam Dastaha. All from 9, last from 10. In case of, okay, multiplication by series of 9s. Now we will see the second case. That is nothing but less number of digits multiplication by more number of 9s. Now we will see the second case in the multiplication series of 9s. So what is the second case? Less number of digits into more number of 9s. Suppose if I want to multiply a number okay by series of nines in which the number of days are less and the number of nines are more okay now let us take an example if it takes 436 into some four nines so how many days are there three digits are there how many nines are there four nines three digits four nines less digits more nines whenever you are facing the case like this if the number of days are less than the number of nines okay you simply do one thing see here there are four nines but here only three digits if you want to make this num uh, this num given number also as four digits what you can do what you can do this three digit number as four digit number right by adding a zero before the number yes or no not after the number if you add a zero after the number the value will change so add before the number okay how many how many digits are less only one digit so that's why i am adding a one zero before the number so that it will become four digit number now it is is it equal four digits four nines now we will uh, do the same way so what is the answer Surprise. now we will follow the same case as just like the first case okay why because the number of now the number of days are equal to number of nines so simply subtract one from the given number how much will you get zero four three five Yes or no? Now write the sequential nines complements to the uh, obtained number. For 0, 9. For 4, 5, 3, 6, 5, 4. So what is the answer? 4, 3, 5, 9, 5, 6, 4. One more example. Suppose, let us take some number 374 into 5 nines. 374 into 5 nines. 374. How many days are there? 3 days. How many nines are there? 5 days. 5 nines. 3 digits, 5 nines. This time, how many digits are less? 2 digits are less when you compare with the number of nines. So, if I want to make this 3 digit number as 5 digit number, what I need to do? Add 2 zeros before the number. So, add 2 zeros before num number so that it will become 5 digit number. Now, 5 digit number into 5 digit, uh, 5 nines. Okay, same as case 1. Okay, remember one thing. The case 2, we are converting into the case 1 by just adding zeros before the number. So, okay. So, now 5 digits into 5 nines, subtract 1 from the given number. How much will you get? So, 0, 0, 3, 7, 3. Now, writing the sequential nines complements to this number. For 0, it is 9, 0, 9, 3, 6, 7, 2 and 3, 6. So, your answer is double zero three seven three double nine six two six. Like this, we can take any example. One more example here. Some big example we will take. Four, uh, some uh, 943 into 6 nines. 943 into 6 nines. Same. How many uh, digits are uh, less? 3 digits. So, what we are going to do here? Okay. Simply add 3 zeros 
to the given number before the number so the answer will be the number will be triple zero nine four three into six nines now it became equal to this into equal lines which is nothing but case one so what is your answer now zero 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 nine four two after subtracting one now sequentially right nice components for this number nine 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 zero five seven so this will be your answer so like this we can convert the second case into the first case and we can get the answer easily with the series of nines now we will see the final case that is case three okay the case three in case of okay what is that case what is the remaining case last we have more number of digits less number of nines okay now we will see the case three finally now we will see the last and final case in case of series uh, in case of multiplication by series of nines using nigalamnataha charmam dashataha so what is the last case remaining we have so more number of days and the less number of nines suppose whenever you are multiplying a number by a series of nines in which the number of days are more when you compare with the number of nines okay in this case we are going to it, it will be a little tricky method okay we have two methods in this case first we'll discuss the method one what is the method one let us take an example suppose 436 into 99 436 into 99 in this case if you observe there are three digits and there are two nines that means number of digits are more when you compare with number of nines so three digits two nines now how to follow how to apply but in this case remember you cannot apply the second case you may think there are two nines so why can't we make it uh, three digits okay so zero nine nine no it is not possible you cannot apply that one if you apply that one you are going to get the wrong answer so be careful you cannot apply case two here so we have another method now see here what we can do okay so in this case 436 to 99 you simply write the given number 436 as it is okay and you know that 90 can't we uh, can we write 99 as 100 minus 1 can we write 99 as 100 minus 1 yes we can write now you simply multiply 436 into 100 what is 436 into 100 43,600 yes or no minus 436 into 1 436 into 1 is how much 436 so if you subtract you will get the answer what is the answer for this one 4 3 2 but 1 okay it is 6 it is 4 4 3 1 6 4 okay now what we are going to do we are simply uh, adding one one step extra what is that one step extra here okay 436 into 99 we are going to write it as 436 into 100 minus 1 so first we are multiplying for main digit main number with the 100 436 into 100 is how much 43600 now for again second step 436 into minus 1 minus 436 if you subtract the problem if you subtract the calculation you will get the answer as 43164 one more example now let us take some 57389 into some 99 57389 into 999 now five digits three nines more digits less nines okay now now you tell me uh, triple nine can be written as yes 57389 into triple nine can be written as thousand minus one so what is 57389 into thousand it is 57389 triple zero minus 57389 into minus one so it is five seven three eight nine now you subtract this one how much we will get we'll see so the answer is five seven three three but three only two but one six one one so what i did here to get the answer i did the subtraction using match and mismatch method okay so don't forget the match and mismatch method we are going to use match and mismatch subtraction in many ways this is one of the application okay so like this we'll get the answer what is the answer of uh, 57389 the answer of 57389 is 57331611 and what is the answer of 436 into double nine the answer of 436 is okay 43164 so like this we can apply okay more digits into less nines okay this is a method one now we will see the 
method two it is a little little tricky one so please be concentrate here okay now we will see the second method in case of the last case of multiplication of uh, series of nines by any number that is case three more number of digits into less number of uh, less number of nines okay case three method two now let us take the same example 436 into 99 in the method 2 it is a little tricky one so please concentrate so 436 into 99 436 into 9 take the number as it is 436 now you tell me how many number of nines are there okay how many number of nines are there two nines so what you need to do whenever you are doing multiplication by series of nines how many number of nines you have to check two nines are there so from the right side make a partition in the given number after two digits from right one two since there are two number of nines we are making the number of, uh, we, we are doing the partition in the number after two digits from right if it is three number of nines are there yes we will go for partition after three digits from right if it is four nines after four digits from right if it is five nines after five digits from right like that okay so since there are only two nines okay we are going to do the partition of the number from right after two digits after making the partition of the number the number is divided into two parts left part and right part okay for the left part what is the number four simply add one to the left part of the number add one to the left part of the number what is the left part of the number here four if you add one to the four how much will you get yes five that five you need to subtract from the total number if you add four to one how much you are going to get five so this five we are going to subtract from the total number this five after see which five the num the five which you got after adding one to the left side part of the number so four plus one is five subtract this five from the total number 436 minus 5 how much will you get 431 yes or no now this 431 is the left side part of the answer actually we have to get one answer right in that answer this is the left side part okay still we have to get the right side part of the answer to get the right side part of the answer okay see you simply go for the right side part of the number which we got above to get the right side part of the answer go for the right side part of the number in the above what is the right side part of the number 36 so for 36 you have to apply all from 9 last from 10 to get the right side part of the answer so for 36 what is the all from 9 last from 10 since there are two numbers subtract first number from 9 and subtract second number from 10 so it is how much 64 so your answer is 43164 once again i repeat here 436 into 99 just first of all whenever the number of these are more and number of nines are less okay see how many number of nines are there there are two number of nines since there are two number of nines i am doing a partition in the given number 436 after two digits from right if it is since there are two nines two nines so two digits from right make a partition so after doing partition the number is divided into two parts left part right part and next step is add one to the left side part of the number what is the left side part of the number here four so if you add one to the four how much will you get five yes that five we have to subtract from the total number what is the total number 436 so 436 minus 5 is how much here 431 which is our left side part of the answer okay so our left side part of the answer we got it as 431 still we have to get the right side part of the answer to get the right side part of the answer you simply go to the right side part of the number in the given partition of the number so what is the right side part of the number in the given partition 36 okay so after going to 36 what you need to do you need to apply all from 9 last from 10 to the 36 which we already discussed in the previous cases okay so what is all from 9 last from 10 simply subtracting the numbers from 9 and the last number from 10 since there are only two digits first number will be subtracted from 9 and next number will be subtracted from 10 so what is all from 9 last from 10 for 36 9 minus 3 6 10 minus 6 4 so 64 so just simply add 64 at the end this will be your answer now i will take one more example so that it will be very clear for you let us take 
some five four three eight six into triple nine. Five four three eight six into triple nine. Now you tell me in this example how many nines are there? Three nines. How many nines are there? Three nines. So where I have to make a partition in the given number? So after three digits from right, I need to make a partition since there are three nines. If there are three nines, so three digits from the right. One, two, three. I'm making a partition. After making partition, as I said, the number is divided into two parts. Left part, right part. This is the left part and this is the right part. Okay, what is the next step? Yes, add one to the, always add one to the left side part. That is a common step to any problem in this case. Okay, add one to the left side part. So if I add one to the left side part, how much I am going to get? 54 plus one, 55. So 55, that should 55, that 55 should be subtracted from total number. After adding 54 to uh, one to the 54, I am going to get 55. So this 55, I have to subtract from the total number. So how much will you get? So 5, 4, 3, 3, 1. So 5, 5, 5, 4, 3, 3, 1. This is the left side part of my answer. But still I have to get the right side part of the answer. Now what I have to do to get the right side part of the answer? Yes, exactly. We have to go to the right side part of the number in which we did the partition. So what is the right side part of the number here? 386. For the 386, what I need to apply? All from 9 last from 10 if you apply r from 9 last from 10 for 386 how much will you get 9 minus 3 6 9 minus 8 1 10 minus 6 4 6 1 4 simply add 6 1 4 here so this will be your answer this is common to every number okay so that's how you can apply okay multiplication by series of nines okay if the number of d's are more and the number of nines are less Okay, I will give one more clarity to you. Okay, by taking one more example here. Okay, now see here. Suppose, uh, let us take an example having uh, zeros at the end. Say, say 5, 4, 3, 6, 0 into some 4 nines this time. Yes, I will take 4 nines this time. Okay, and I am going to increase one more number here. 7, 5, 4, 3, 6, 0 into 4 nines. Now you tell me how many nine, number of nines are there? Four nines. So in this step, what I need to do after four digits from right, I need to make a partition. One, two, three, four. Make a partition. Now the left, there are numbers divided into two parts: left side part and right side part. Okay. Left side part is how much? Seventy-five. Add one to that seventy-five. If I add one to that seventy-five, how much I am going to get? Seventy-six, which should be subtracted from the total number. How much will you get? Seven, five, four, three, but two. 6 plus 3, 9, but 8, 4. This is my left side part of the answer. I just subtracted the number which I got after adding 1 to the left side part. I just subtracted the number which I got or which I obtained from adding 1 to the left side part. That is 75. If I add 1 to the 75, 76. That 76 I have subtracted from the total number. From the total number I am saying again. Please listen. Okay, so how much we got here? 754284. This is the left side part of the answer. To get right side part of the answer, what I need to do? Go for the right side part of the number. What is the right side part of the number here? 4360. You need simply apply all from 9 last from 10 to this number. How can we apply all from 9 last from 10 to this, to this number? Remember, you have to you have to recollect the technique which I taught you in the previous case for all from 9, last from 10. Whenever you are getting 0 at the end for all from 9, last from 10, you need to up, you, you just ignore 0 for some time. Now, what is the remaining number? 436. For that 436 only, you need to apply all from 9, last from 10 for some time. Okay. So, how much will you get? 5, 6, 4. And drop this 0 as it is. So, your answer is? Seven five four two eight four five six four zero. Okay. If you have any doubt in this uh, alpha nine last from ten for the numbers which are ending at zero, you can go through the basics which we learnt in the case of subtraction, so that it will be very clear for you. Okay. So like this we can apply. Okay. The multiplication by series of nines in all the three cases. And I can say one thing. This last case, case three, it is applicable to all cases. Okay, so that's how 
uh, the multiplication by series of nines can be easily learned.